you're here thank you for joining me they've been having an earthquake swarm along the hurricane fault there in southern Utah it runs up this fault runs up to the Wasatch fault but last time I checked there was eight earthquakes in this location hi everyone I'm Mary with Mary Greeley news thank you very much for joining me oh it's up to nine earthquakes now we got a more recent 1.4 they were fairly shallow uh, 3.3 miles in depth um, a 1.7 4.7 miles in depth a 1.8 the same depth supposedly a 0 0.9 now that was deeper 7.6 miles um, a 1.5 6.1 miles 5.2 miles that was a 1.2 a 1.6 4.3 miles, um, a 1.6, 4.1 miles, and then a 1.5. This area is capable of having a magnitude 7.5 or greater earthquake. Uh, the Hurricane Fault, which is this fault right here, is the biggest earthquake fault in southwestern Utah. It stretches at least 155 miles or 250 kilometers from south of the Grand Canyon northward to Cedar City and like I said is capable of producing damaging earthquakes of about a magnitude 7.0 to a 7.5 the hurricane fault is what they call a normal fault a type of fault fault that forms during extension of the earth's crust where one side of the fault moves down relative to the other side. In this case, the down drop side, the hanging wall, is west of the fault. And that area has all sunk. Yeah, it's dropped. There's a, a scarp in this area of, of over 100 feet high. A scarp is a crack, a fault, where the one side jumped up and the other side more than likely stayed stationary but can you imagine being on that side where it suddenly rose up 100 feet if you were on a seesaw or a teeter totty yeah you would probably go flying like a rocket the hurricane fault is composed of segments that tend to rupture independently the fault lies at or near the base of the hurricane cliffs which is an impressive uh, form with little eroded fault scarps several hundred feet high so they there are areas that are much higher than a hundred feet several um, hundred feet high and these scarps have a west tilt to them locals pronounce it hurricane not hurricane like many of us do now a little bit farther south we have what's called the Washington fault it's down over here all right right there can you see that let me make it bigger the Washington fault actually merges at some point with the much larger and more studied hurric hurricane fault <laughs> got me wanting to pronounce it different and all this let me travel up towards the north it all merges with the Wasatch fault right there I don't have it all completely drawn out there the Wasatch Fault actually ends down here by the city of Fayette. It might be Fayette. F-A-Y-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E, somewhere in there. And that's where it becomes the Hurricane Fault. The Wasatch Fault is about 240 miles long, stretching from southern Idaho through northern Idaho. Let me go back up. And then onward, yeah, we got different little faults onward that probably go all the way up to um, Yellowstone. Just like the Hurricane Fault, 
the Wasatch Fault, they got it divided up into 10 different sections. Five of those segments are considered active. On average, the segments are approximately 25 miles long, each of which can independently produce earthquakes, also up to a magnitude 7.5. The five segments that they consider active is the Brigham City Fault, the Weber Fault segment, the Salt Lake City Fault, and the Provo Fault segment, and the Nepai Fault. Yep, just another indication that, yeah, the Earth, the uh, crust of America is on the move. Let me go back in here to where these earthquakes are at. Yep, I hope everyone is prepared. Um, don't expect the government to come and rescue you, but uh, they're more concerned about continuancy of government than they are of the citizens. So what are your thoughts about these different segments of Utah's earthquake faults? Please put your comments down below. Are you prepared? Do you have a disaster plan? Please like, share, and subscribe. I'm also on Patreon if you wish to support my work. And I also post videos on Rumble. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you.